Morgan, that stall is in the operator. Hurry. Hey folks and welcome back to Prey. You might have heard that last little bit there. Dahl beat me into the Arboretum. Um, in fact, he beat me to the elevator. <laughs> so we're still all about hunting that awful jerk, wherever he may be. Wow. Morgan, <laughs> What? Things are happening. Uh... Breathing down my neck. I don't know how much longer. Shit. Yeah, sorry. Um, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm on my way. I've got like operators and junk to deal with. I thought I fixed that panel. Someone re-break that panel. Oh boy. Oh boy. Sorry for the framiness, guys. Okay. I mean... Am I meant to be going to hatch? I'm just not sure anymore. It's Mariana. I can't get in. I tried the airlock at power plant, but it's got some kind of a lockdown on it. And there's something else. I saw something. When I was checking the last O2 station. An ovoid mass. Roughly the size of a truck, maybe? Hard to tell because it was silhouetted. I mean, it could have just been debris, loose tubing. I, I don't know, but it scared the shit out of me. God, I sound crazy. I've just got to breathe. I'm going to try another airlock, then I'll call back. Mariana, I don't know who you are or what you're talking about. I'm trying to find Dahl and his dang operator. Morgan, we're in life support now. It's all clear. Air's normal across the board. I lost some good people fighting the black boxes. And Dahl wasn't here. If you see him before I do, make him pay. Elazar out. I'm getting... What the heck, though? Like, I don't know where I'm going or how. What bunker? We've never been to a bunker. We've got to beat Dal to Alex's bunker. But I don't know... Jean, it's Mariana. Okay, so here's the thing. Morgan, Dahl is breathing down my neck. I don't know how much longer. Shit! So Alex is apparently up in his room. And I just didn't know. Because for some reason the objectives got rolled into um, the arming key objective, which I disabled ages ago. So it wasn't pointing me to mm, pointing to me me where to go. Words, words are hard. Okay, so you're like here. Watch out! Wow. Morgan, you did it. Yeah, I'll right. arrange transport with the medical operator. Then we can see about removing his neuromart and hopefully gaining a shuttle in the process. There is so much talking going to on. Impress me, Morgan. I'm coming out now. I guess using electricity on him disabled him because he's more machine than human, and that EMP'd him basically. I 
I guess. <laughs> I promised you my arming cape. All I ask is you hear me out first. And you can blow Talos one to pieces if that's what you think is best. I don't think you'll do it. I know. Because I used to think we couldn't be trusted to play with fire without burning the house down. But you convinced me. You showed me anything was possible, even if the price was steep. That part of you is still in there. We can make history, Morgan. Not those leeches on the Transtar Board of Directors, not Mom and Dad. You and I. Just like we planned. We've got the data to confirm what you suspected. And Carl is broadcasting a neural signal. A secret message reaching to the stars. What I want to know is what is the message? And who is listening to it? I think you know. Ever since we first tested the Typhon Neuromods, you've known. This fabrication plan is for the Null Wave device prototype you conceived. It will hijack the coral signal and use it to deliver a massive shock to every Typhon organism at once. Take it. And the army key, like I pro- What? Morgan! What? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh... So that's a Typhon wormhole. Okay. I can scan my brother. <laughs> Morgan, we're in life support now. It's all clear. Air's normal across the board. I lost some good people fighting the black boxes. And Dal wasn't here. If you see him before I do, make him pay. I mean, like... Elazar out. Dal's unconscious lady. You'll need to get Dal to the nearest clinic. Once that's done, I'll arrange transport with the medical operator. I mean, everyone needs to just shush, because, like, I'm apparently a thousand steps above everyone. Uh, and also there was a transcribe from me. So I should listen to that. Uh, after I collect everything in microgravity. Wonder if this is timed, huh? Huh? More timed junk? Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. Send an operator. That's what I'm doing, Niels. It's not responding. None of them are. Shit. Was it those things? Did they shut the air off? I don't know. It doesn't matter though, right? I mean, it should be hours before we run out. No, Niels. The system is working in reverse. It's pulling oxygen out of the air. We've got 10 minutes. Tops. What? But... Everyone keeps talking about things I don't care about. <laughs> I just want to do this. Everyone should shush. Um... Okay. So, we have the fabricator this way. Although the power is out in the Arboretum, so that might be a problem. But we shall see. No, I'm ignoring you. I'm ignoring you. Horrible tentacle thing. You are being ignored. Wait, this isn't the way that I thought it was. I think I've orientated myself though, we'll see. electrical stuff going on over there. We're not gonna check it out though. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, please. Stop. Stop. There is too much tentacle going on right now. Not enough fabricating. 
I need to get to a fabricator. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you know what? I don't think that's working. So, uh... Yeah, that's out of power. Without Dahl, we have no chance of getting off the station. We're trapped here. Oh, just shush. Morgan, I don't know if you've seen, but there is alien matter ripping through the hull. You have to move. Bosh, my Every window in this station. It's engulfing the place. It's everywhere. Oh my god. People, shut up. You're telling me things that I didn't even know was a thing. I didn't know that I was meant to get dull to a medical station. When did that even happen? <laughs> what the actual hell? Like I was meant to drag his body in microgravity. I mean, I guess I was, but also... Excuse me? Engineering operator, you'll fix my... Okay, that's a tentacle. Hello. Oh, I can scan it. How about that? No, that's the engineering operator. Hey bud, you wanna? Your suit some wear and tear. Yes it did. Yes it did. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> this is tense. This is very tense. Where is this? This is maintenance. Whoa, stop. basically going right back through guts so that we can get back to what I assume my office will be the place where things are fine. I think. Ah! That's not okay. It's not even slightly okay. Stop stunning me. Stop. Mm. I am stuck. Stop. Oh my god, stop. Thank you. <laughs> this is just awful. And hey, I won't um, lie. I'm, I'm not having the most amount of fun. Ow. I don't think this is a very fun and interesting way to end the game. I think this is just panic inducing and stupid. But hey, whatever. <laughs> I thought they could have uh, tied it up with a nice little bow right where we were without having to have giant typhon tentacles following me around everywhere. But I guess it's uh, their game. And also all these events happening that like, I have no idea what's going on. Or I'm failing missions I didn't even know I had. I mean, I guess it's the kind of thing that you would keep in mind for a second playthrough, but, you know, I don't know when that second playthrough will be, and this is my recorded first playthrough, so. Okay. We're in psychotronics. The floor is electric, or was electric. I guess it was electric because I made it electric. You know what? Just don't question it. <laughs> I think that's exactly what was going on. Oh, uh, stop though, stop though. Not a big fan of that. Okay. 
do I remember the location of a fabricator in Psychotronics? I don't think so. Psychotronics actually seems mostly intact. Oh, hi bud. Good. Labs A. Atrium. Is there a fabricator in here somewhere? Oh, I think I know where there is a fabricator. Actually, it'll. Yeah. That might be a recycler, though. Aha! Uh -huh. Hello! Why is there stuff in here? Did I do that? <laughs> uh, no, stop everything, stop! Dr. Howard's growth formula. Um, Morgan arming key, prototype no wave, transmitter. Psychotronics. Hey, you're alive. In the original containment cylinder. Yeah, yeah. I'm Placing in the psychotronics. No -wave device there will override the entire coral network with our own signal. Yeah. Use your psychoscope to locate the exact spot. Okay. Let's do this. I mean, uh, hello door. Let's do this. Okay, hello. Out of here. Tentacle. Okay, uh, the game was struggling a bit, so sorry for the jump in time there. Just had to kind of move and then stop for a bit and let it sort itself out. I'm not sure why that is happening anymore. Down, lifted, okay. That's fine. I think this is where we get in? Yeah, alright. Uh, we've transmitted. Can I just kind of? I think that's that there. Yeah. Now, am I going to get horribly interrupted here, or what's the deal? remember how to get back to the bridge, Ben. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's... Uh, actually, I think I do know how to get back. We run this way. Um, tell you what, I'm going to run towards the bridge and I'll tell you when something exciting happens. Oh, uh, hi. <laughs> this is right near the entrance to Psychotronics. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? So I can blow the tendrils up with, um, electricity, which is pretty cool. Oh, alright then. Oh, alright then. Okie dokie. They're, like, trying to get me and then they hit the wall. I think that's what's happening. Got it. Sweet. So, so much for that room. Okay. You you know, we went to the, the shuttle bay and there's like a thousand electric phantoms. And 
I mean, that's all fun. Oh, geez. Okay. Um, maybe not. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna run this way. Goodbye. Operator deployment resuming. Yeah. Uh, I just cornered myself. That's fine. That's fine, I guess. You're right. Um... Q-beam. I suppose the null wave affects me too, because I'm filled with Typhon juice. No voltaic phantom, stop! Stop your horrible things. Ow. Please explode now. Thank you. I just have to eat all the food right now. Excuse me, goodbye. Excuse me, goodbye. Right. How do you reckon we get to the bridge from here? Uh. Okay, not that way. <laughs> oh, I think I know. I think I know. No wave device controls. In there, you reckon? Uh, okay. You're saying it's like right there, so that's a it's a water fountain game. Just like to inform you that that is a water fountain, and not the controls to the null wave, or maybe what? Here? No. Nope. All right, and the game's confused. There. Uh. Hmm. Yep. Is this the bridge? Is this the way to the bridge? That's the way to the guts. Okay. Um. Hmm. So. How did I get to the bridge? I'm sure I got here, where I am right now. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Um, I'm sure I got right here where I am right now by going through the bridge, but I didn't go through the bridge to get here this time. Manual override. Okay, hello. Hey, buddy. This is back to the Telos lobby. Oh, if you would just... Stop. That'd be great. Uh, bridge. Bridge, bridge, bridge. Okay, we are back in Arboretum. I totally forgot it was a microgravity situation. So that's fun. Um, so, from here... How do we get to the bridge? Two. Number one. Telos Bridge is up that way. In that elevator. That elevator, okay. So that's behind me. Ow, 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 ow. There's probably still black box dudes here. Is there? Please go away, tentacle. Leave me alone. The bridge. Okay, we are on the bridge. So now we need to go to the controls. I don't actually think I've ever been on the command deck. But that's fine. Oh yeah, get Rick Typhon. What is a new one? Well, it's both an easy answer and a complicated one at the same time. Here's 
the future. Today. More importantly, our past. Today. This is the work track start time. Every employee working together. It's immortality. And it is beautiful. Well, it wasn't the most ideal ending, I don't think. I mean, especially losing Dal and um, not going back to save certain people and what happens to Morgan, because Morgan was mostly Typhon when I hit the Null Wave. Um, well, I guess not mostly Typhon, because there was that vision that said that Alex wanted more of me inserted back into me. The Typhon is still here, clearly. Coffee cup, hello. How are you doing? Um, what an interesting game. I really, really enjoyed Prey. Not so much that end. I mean, I think I made that pretty clear. Wasn't a huge fan of that ending. Um, but... <laughs> just saw the mimic run up against the couch and that was funny uh, but I think possibly the ending was made more stressful just by my previous actions throughout the entire game you know if I had done certain other paths or or what have you then things might have been easier I'm not sure but uh, I still really enjoyed the game that I played and absolutely recommend it to anybody else who wants to play it their way because it certainly is one of those games that you can in proper shock fash fashion um, shock being the shock series well except Bioshock I think Bioshock's pretty linear but hello Nightmare how are you doing um System Shock. There we go. That's what I was looking for. It, it is very System Shocky, and I think it was a good homage to the original System Shocks. I think that is why I didn't like the ending so much. It wasn't a very System Shocky ending. And apparently now it's time to beat the mind game. <laughs> So, yeah, I guess what comes after this? Production babies! Congratulations. If you don't know what a production baby is, it's babies born during the production of a title. Um, I think it mostly came from the movie industry originally. I remember this song. <laughs> So, yeah, what comes after Prey then? Well, I've, I'm up in the air about what I want to do next on the channel. Um, there are options. Uh, amongst those options is playing the new 0 0.18 patch of RimWorld. So we're doing a new RimWorld series on that patch. Minimal mods. I don't think we'd have a lot of mods. We just have some fun ones, but that's about it. Um, just to try and let 018 speak for itself. Or, alternatively, I was thinking about doing a series on the KISS project. Um, filming the production of the mod pack. I don't know how I would do that, strictly. I've been thinking about it over the last couple of weeks, about how I would film the production of the mod pack, but, um... Yeah. Could be interesting. 
maybe I would just come back when there was interesting things to film. I'm not so sure. And then I was also thinking about doing Oxygen Not Included. So that's an option as well. So let me know what you would like to see me do, really, honestly, uh, down in the comments below. Um, because I would like to put out something interesting on the channel and I only do one thing at a time on the channel now because it seems to be what works best for consistency and completion. Um, so yeah, options, RimWorld, Oxygen Not Included, a sort of mod pack making series for Minecraft, uh, maybe even some Ylands because that came out or has been coming out for a while and is kind of interesting. I'm not, I'm not sure. Let me know. It's finished. How did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming. That nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later, it recovered the Leitner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It installed multiple Typhon-based neuromods. It could mean an instinctive return to its own kind, or an attempt to integrate its dual natures. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? Then, there was the man in psychotronics, Ingram. Things did not end well for him. But... Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? 
It found me. It didn't need to, but it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. There were a lot of humans controlled by the Typhon that it could have harmed. Seems like it went out of its way to avoid that. I think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to activate the Nullwave device. Why? To preserve the Typhon technology? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do. <laughs> Tell them all, take Alex's hand. Wow, you know what? I'm gonna take Alex's hand because I'll tell you something. I was fucking right. I didn't know that I was right. And in the scenario that we were in, I guess I wasn't right. But ultimately I was. We are Typhon with humanity inserted into us. I can't remember what episode I said that, but I fucking did. <laughs> Damn, I'm good. All right, take Alex's hand. We're gonna shake things up like old times. <laughs>